I mean, there's a shortage of just good male talent in general. Like that's hard. And I think also with a company like Browsers, they want to make sure that they're using somebody that they know is solid and Mm -hmm. dependable. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, especially I've seen like with having like how much it messes up the day having somebody who's not. Yeah. Have you had that experience yet? No, I've heard of the, like, how it goes, but, like, okay. yeah. I pray that you never do. Oh, no. Because <laughs> it's not fun. Yeah. I mean, my third scene ever with Brazzers, I had to cut it short because, like, I, I started bleeding. Mm-hmm. I couldn't take it. So I was, like, crying in the bathroom. I was like, oh, my God, why did they fire me? Like, oh <laughs> but they they didn't, obviously. Like, they, because um, the Billy um, told them, they were like, she's crying. Like, she's scared. Um, so then they called me and they were just like, you're okay. Billy Visual. Mm-hmm. He's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. He's really I great. love working with him. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yes. Um, I did a scene with him, which I cannot wait to come out, but I, like I got to cook in it. So it was really fun. Really? Yeah. Well, you did a scene with Billy? No, with, oh my God. Oh. Like him directing. Oh, okay. I was like, cause I know, I think I saw that like his wife is doing Yeah, she does stuff. Yeah. So I was like, She's I got like confused. She's like the newest MILF. Yeah. Yeah. I got like confused. I was yeah. like, what's up? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, so, but they didn't like, did you feel so much better after they, I mean, you really thought they were going to be angry with yeah, you. Yeah. Huh? Cause you know, I, after also watching, you know, like hearing about the industry it was just mm-hmm. like, oh shit, like you gotta finish because you know, they wasted all this money and it was a, such a crazy day because the one talent got COVID. So they had to find somebody new, mm-hmm. something happened with location. So it was already a crazy day and mm-hmm. I'm here I am. I can't take yeah. this dick. So it was like, yeah, but that's hardly your fault. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really feel like we've moved in a better direction in terms of taking care of talent because I won't lie, like 10 years ago, that would, I would yeah. have had a, di- I actually had a phone call once. I remember very distinctly. I won't say who the agent is, yeah. but I had a girl who was crying because she was sore. I think she'd been working too much mm-hmm. and she like, couldn't take, she yeah, like, just yeah. couldn't do the scene. And I was, I felt terrible, especially as a woman. I was like, yeah. I'm not going to like, I'm going to make, make you, you do exactly. this. Like, that's just terrible. Like you're in pain. Like you, we should cancel mm-hmm. you and we'll get some, I don't know. We'll and it's like, no matter out. how much lube you put, it's going to hurt. It's, it's going to hurt. Not, like, <laughs> like, she didn't have to put you through that. Right. And I remember her agent like called her and like yelled at her. Damn. And, um, so she's like crying in her chair because, you know, she, she like can't do the scene and her yeah. agent's mad at her. And so, and I would, and she's like, I can do it. She's like trying to pull herself together. She's like, I can do it. I'm like, you're not fucking doing the scene. Right, exactly. Like you clearly like can't do it. So I called her agent and he was, t- he tried to tell me that she was lying. Oh my God. Yeah. He's like, she's <laughs> yeah, making it no. up. She's lying. She's fine. She, what is scene. wrong with men? I swear. And like. I was so, I was so angry. Yeah, that's I was annoying. like, that's fucking bullshit. I'm like, I can tell you as a woman, like she's not lying. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not going to make her do this scene. Yeah. I'm fucking sending her home. Like you're not charging her a kill fee. Exactly. Like it was just like, that was one of those moments where I kind of had a. Like, what am I doing? Yeah. Yeah. I had that moment where I was like, am I, am I in an industry that's like, okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, are we treating people the way that we're supposed to? Um, and I'm so happy to say that, you know, thank God that that's like that one instance. Mm -hmm. And most of my experiences have been really positive. And now like, you know, so many years later working for companies like browsers and twisties, they're so tuned into like the talent and how they're feeling. And we've had these meetings where they're like, if they don't feel good, if they need to go home for Mm -hmm. whatever reason, like they're having a bad day, like whatever right, it is, like, they're let like, go. let them go. We're not going to, you know, penalize them. Mm-hmm. We're not going to blacklist them. Like the mental health of the people that we work with is really yeah, important and we need to take care of them. And I was like, that and feels that's how really, really made good me feel. to yeah. have those conversations. Yeah. Like that's how like that as a talent, like as a new talent too, that, mm-hmm. that's definitely how I felt where it's like when people ask me about the industry, it's like. I love it, but it's also, like, I've only worked with Brazzers and mm-hmm. Casting Cash. So it's, like, I don't know if, like, all the other companies are like that. Like, I can't tell you to join because, like, I yeah. can't be, like, you're going to have my experience. Yeah. You know? That's the thing. It's, like, you can – I've heard wildly different stories yeah. from different women coming in at the same time. One person started with this company. They had the most amazing time. Yeah. And somebody started with something else, and they exactly. had a horrible experience. And then, like, that colored their experience mm-hmm. for the rest of their career. Or they – they dropped out and then they went on this kind of rampage about how the porn industry yeah, is terrible. all evil and exactly. terrible. And I'm like, man, you just had, you just worked with the wrong people. Like, right. Fuck. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I, I didn't even realize like it could have, cause like when I joined, I didn't really, like I was watching all these things, but I wasn't really thinking like, you're going to be those girls. You, you could be one of those girls. Mm-hmm. You have the problem. And then the more like I go on more sets and speak to more people, I realized like, oh shit, I could have been like, 
put in those glory hole videos or like mm-hmm. doing anal like right away mm-hmm. or just doing really like just pushing my body to such a limit in like such a short amount of time mm-hmm. where it's like every single time I go into, I'm like I'm so lucky like I'm with this company and mm-hmm. like working with such amazing people because like like some girls is just it's really not worth it like yeah no absolutely mm-hmm. not and then if you get caught up with a bad agent yeah who pushes you to do scenes that you're not ready exactly. for. Exactly. Because they don't care. Right. Because even now, I feel like I'm giving them less because, like, I'm just, like... I feel like my list is so vanilla, but it's, like, I'm not even being pushed to do anything, like, because mm-hmm. they're just still, you know, building me up. So it's really nice, like, to yeah. have that, yeah. They won't. They'll never push you. Yeah, exactly. That's what I love. Yeah. Yeah. 